Alrighty, we're gonna be gonna be doing a little oil change on the uh, the Mustang here today. So 2017 GT Premium. Not that it matters if you've got the 5.0. It's all the same. All right, oil I'm using Mobile One Extended Performance. It says 15,000 miles. I don't trust that. I go by what the dash says. I usually replace it at about eh, 10 to 20 percent oil life left. Maybe it's overkill. Maybe it's not. It's way cheaper than an engine, uh, and it's full synth. So. Spend a little bit more. Hopefully, it'll last a little bit longer. It takes about eight quarts, so I typically get two of them if I'm doing it, and then the next time I go, I'll I'll sneak a a liter or so so that it all balances out. But uh, reason I do it myself, I went into I don't know a quick stop or a loop stop, and they wanted over a hundred bucks to change the oil, and I said hell no, there's no way. You know, it's cheap for the first four quarts, and then they get you on the back end there for the, the extra eight for this 5.0 Coyote. So, next up, I got ramps. You could do it with a jack if you have it. I've got both, but ramps are just easier. Gets me enough clearance to get under there. Typically, I'll get them lined up like this, and then I'll pull the car in, and we'll get them uh, get them situated under the front wheels, and then push it up on onto the ramp. All righty. So once I pull into the garage there, I just line them up real nice. You can see bear, I, I barely get clearance on my uh, my ramps, but line them up, do it on both sides. Try to make sure you're straight with kind of your angle of the car there. You want to fall off when you get up top, but these are wide enough that I don't really run into that issue, but safety first. All right, we got her, got her up on there. You can kind of see plenty of clearance for me to get my big body under there. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get started on so I typically do it with the engine just a little bit warm, uh, so I probably drove it about two hours ago, so I'm sure the engine oil is still warm enough. Uh, it'll make it come out nice and easy, good flow. So we'll pop the trunk. If you're changing your oil, you should know where that is, but in case you didn't, that's where it is. Alrighty, from there, oil caps right here. Take this off, set it somewhere where it won't fall in, and uh, we'll go ahead and get on the other side of the car now. All right, so your tools for the job, you would want a 15 millimeter uh, wrench, just standard wrench. I think in the video I said 5 8 uh, definitely 15 millimeter fit a little bit better there. And then you're going to want your 7 millimeter socket uh, for that panel underneath to get to your oil filter. So we'll go over what that means and everything, you'll see it in the video. You're gonna need something to drain into. I like this because you dump it, you don't have to pour it after you're done, seals up nice. Throw it in the trunk, I usually put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get all over and dump it at your local auto parts store. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this is plenty of room for, you know, eight quarts that are coming out of this car. So, we'll go from there. So, once you're into the car, you wanna come back. That's your oil pan, and you've got your bolt right there that we're gonna undo just the drain plug so five ace will get it off we're gonna do that in a sec all right so we'll get in here just get on there start loosening it I cheated before I started the video I uh, I loosened it a little bit Put your oil plan in place it's gonna flow a little bit and just start loosening it by hand Careful not to drop this in there. You're gonna want to pull it away. I'm gonna get it all over my hand because this camera angle, but if you drop it in, worst case, you gotta fish it out, but there's a big old hole in this thing that I don't want it to fall in and have to try and fish it out. That would suck. So, let that drain just like that. Hey, do you need me to narrate the whole process? I'm doing it as we speak. Uh -huh. Oh, and welcome our guest, Logan. Hey, Logan, could you hand me that wrench over there? Thanks, Logan. Hey, I'm in this bag, actually. Yeah, absolutely. What else would you need? <laughs> Damn it, dude. Come on, I want to be part of it. Dude, you can, you can make a cameo. A cameo. Hey, let me... Uh, okay, let me put my Ford hat on. You got a Ford hat? Alrighty, so the other thing on this 
everybody's talking about an access panel. I don't have that. So I don't know if that's just my car or what the deal is, but you're going to have to take these bolts off. This whole panel needs to come off in order to get up. I don't know if you can see that, but the oil filter is right up underneath this. So this is the driver's side wheel here. You can see I've got the uh, oil pan right here. So up just right here. You can kind of peek in there and you'll, you'll see it. So I actually know where it is because this is kind of a messy process and I always know to look for the little oil uh, from the last time I did it. So get our 7 milliliter socket. After this, you ready to tie these things right off? Now I saw a guy actually just pull this down one time, just yank it and bend it. I, I don't know if I'd advise that. I'm probably just going to pull the whole thing off. It takes two minutes. So once it's kind of down to a drip like this, I typically put the, put the plug back in. Uh, I usually wipe it off first before I go ahead and do this. So I'll go ahead and get this back in here just by hand uh, so you don't want to over tighten this. Again, I'm at a kind of a weird angle. So find your hole, just start sliding it in there. Get a little oil on your hand. So I'll hand tighten it and then I'll take my wrench. And just give it a little, a little bit. You don't want to overdo this. So about there's good. That's not going anywhere. All right, wipe your hand off and go with gas. All right, so now we're gonna take the oil filter out. I usually give this a little wipe first before I move the oil pan. So I got a rag here, wiping it. I know my giant head's in the way. So we'll pull this forward, and then this is just where it gets nasty, so we gotta move this thing up out of the way. But I try and get it right up under there, because it's just gonna wanna rain down on me, so. So depending on who put this on last time, you may need a, a tool to get up in there, but. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Nothing you could do to avoid that. slipping on it getting covered in it here so then when you're done with it you just set it in your oil pan upside down here let it drain out before you throw it away well take it up to the... oh it's splashing some people put a bag up in there I didn't I'm paying for it now <laughs> so now what I'll do is I'll get up in there with a rag and just Kind of wipe that off. Make sure there's no other O-ring from the oil pan or the oil filter on there. So that's fine. Just give this a wipe. There's some of the electronics that I spilled oil all over a wipe. That one's uh I gotta say that was one of the messier ones I've ever done. So can't win them all, I guess. So clean that off. I'm not good here. And then, that's good. All right. So I'll grab my new oil filter, and uh, it's debated, but put a little bit of oil on there just to on the O-ring that is. So I'm not filling it. Some people pre-fill. I'm just gonna put enough on there to get my seal some some oil. Take my finger, just kind of rub it around the outside there. Make sure it gets a nice tight fit. No water can get in there. All that good stuff. So now that that's done, we'll put it on. So I'll take you back under the car here. So at this point, you put your oil filter back up. I don't know why I wasn't wearing gloves before, but typically for this part, you're going to need a little bit of. You're going to want a little bit of grip to get this on there or at least started so just twist that on should be good to go I typically hand tighten it some people use a 
oil filter wrench. I don't have one. So I'll make sure this is good and hand tight. We'll go from there. That should be good and sealed up there now. So I'll make sure this thing's all drained from the last one. Yeah, it's still leaking oil there, so. So tip here, these are supposed to be the easy pours, I don't know about that. I like to open up mine like this, get a little vacuum hole, and then the main pour. Might be a little slower, but helps you control it, it's not glugging all over your engine and it's all over the garage. So I didn't really unpack Y by 10 quarts at a time, so it takes 8, and so you were left with 2, and so then what I'll do is I'll buy another five with the filter and then I just buy one extra so I don't always buy ten at a time. Put the rest of it in here now. And the last one. So again I kinda alluded to the fact that I buy I try and go economical on it, so I'll buy a 5 quarts and an oil filter, and then 5 quarts and an oil filter, and that means, if you do the math on it, I'll need one extra sometimes, so this is the one extra. To be clear, I put 8 quarts in here, not, not 11, so the first bottle had 2 quarts in it, second one had 5, here's my final quart. So it's still up on the ramps, but I just like to get a little sense of where I landed and make sure that it's not, something didn't go horribly wrong and I don't know how it could, but again, better safe than sorry. So just about at the fill line, which is great. So, so pull your funnel out. If you had two hands, typically, uh, Make sure you wipe that so it's not dripping all over your engine, but I'm holding the GoPro. So there's that back in there. Dipstick's back on. Now we got to do the pan. All right, so now I'm underneath. I'm looking at the oil filter, no drips. Looking at the oil pan, no drips. Uh, getting the panel back on. So see, it's got these two notches in the front. That's the front. The back has a fastener on the back here. Uh, if you can see it there. It got a little splashed when I dropped that oil filter in there, but it'll be alright. So what I'll do now is get that fastener in there. Actually, let's put it in this way first. So this groove here lines you up and then push that in to fasten. Now I've got my screws and my socket. We'll get to work. We live kind of on a hill there, and when it's on the ramps, you can't really get a good measure. So I pull it down off the ramps, check my uh, oil level one last time, make sure we're all set. We're good to go. So. Actually, might be a little bit shy. You guys can see that in there. I'm trying to get the light to hit it just right, but I might pick up another quart and put a quarter quart in just to be safe.
when I'm all done, I put it in a bag. It just keeps oil from the outside of my inside of my trunk rather. So, toss it in a bag. Take it off to local auto parts retailer. Please make sure you put your tools away. Now you end up not having to do more. So, uh, make sure you clean that up, and then good to go.